How's it going guys and welcome to a new video. Um, this one's just another spraying video, just touching on little bits and bobs on the S3. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it. So I'm gonna make it quick and super easy for you guys to understand. This uh, skull panel, I think it's cool with the wipers and everything is, is super faded and just needs a bit of love. And obviously, luckily we have the, obviously the old S3's skull panel here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wipe all this one down, give it a good clean, give it a nice bit of paint, and then we can go ahead and just swap it straight over, and hopefully it will look 10 times better. Um, and uh, yeah, just quickly guys, if any of you guys are new, go ahead, click the subscribe button, because I've got loads of videos lined up while I'm off work, and hopefully during the future when I'm still on work, I'm just trying to uh, find videos to make. Um, I've literally just done a service on that S3 um, as well, which is just like an oil filter. Oil and filter, put some new spaces on it and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning this down and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay guys, so I've got the car out of the garage now to prevent it from any overspray. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the heat gun, just warm up the panel itself. And I've got the can over here, which I'm trying to heat up with the heater up here. And then once that's all heated up, we're gonna go ahead and put the first layer on it. And I've got quite high hopes for this, so we'll see how we go. Okay hey guys, so here we go for the first layer. I've uh, warmed up the cam, warmed up the panel. I'm gonna go ahead and start from this side and go to that side. Even if it does not turn out as I would want, it's not the end of the world because it's not my only, my only panel. Okay guys, so, so far so good. It's the first coat, I'm gonna go ahead and go over it with the heat gun and just make sure everything is nice and warm and hopefully dries quite fast. Um, obviously it is still raining outside, still absolutely horrible. Good old UK weather, but luckily we can do this in here and not have to worry. Already after just one go with the heat gun, gone over the whole thing and it's already looking really nice i'm actually pretty happy with it especially once we get a couple more layers on it it's gonna look a lot better but i'm keen to get the old one off and actually compare what this one looks like compared to the old one because the old one is a completely different level to how nice this one looking at the minute okay i'm gonna go ahead and get a couple more layers on and then i'll get back to you guys okay guys so I've gone ahead and put a few more coats on it now um, and I've actually run out of paint so it's always great um, and I've been heating it with the heat gun and this and that but I can't say I don't notice it is a bit blotchy 
I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Sort of. All right, this is dry, and that's how it looks like. Uh, obviously, it's difficult because obviously the surface of it is not um, just flat. It's like sort of rough surface. So, but it doesn't look terrible. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably just try and dry it and, and as much as possible. And I'll probably end up just putting it on anyway. Um, see how it's like on the car. Um, I don't have any of the black paint. I've got lacquer, but I don't want to put that on because my luck, it will start reacting and just destroy the whole thing. Um, and then caliper paint, wheel mm, primer. No, no, do not have any more. Gloss back paint, it's, that's it there, it's empty. So, I'm gonna go ahead, try and dry it as much as possible, then I'm gonna get the car in, drive it inwards, take the scar panel off, and then hopefully get this on without scratching it too badly. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I uh, start installing it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start taking the scar panel off. If you guys are doing the same, basically you wanna take the both front wipers off, and then literally it's just pulling off the seal, and then this go ahead and lift up. There you go. So you so yeah, pull the seal off, pull this up, that'll come up as long as you got the wipers off. And it's literally just clipped into the windscreen. Um, and then it should just lift off. Put the wipers back on. It's very simple really, but it's just a bit tedious because sometimes you it's hard to get it in here. Uh, but hopefully this one shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so I've gone ahead, got the wipers off. It's just two 30mm nuts that go on there and little caps that are on top of the nuts. Now literally all you want to do is just pull, pull this seal off. Super easy really. I'll just go ahead and lead up there for now. That's that. And then literally, you just work at it. Pull, so all this up here is clipped in. So you just need to pull gently and then try and get a hand quite hard one-handed but it will come off <laughs> just needs a bit two hands and then these are plugged in as well okay so i've got it off now as you can see it's a bit muddy down here so use this time to get the vacuum out and just hoover up all this shit and wipe down and maybe grease up your nuts and whatever you want to do. Um, just to make it look a bit nicer under here and know that it's done properly. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that on. So I've gone ahead, I've cleaned underneath and <laughs> I've, uh, I thought I'd show you guys how to get the actual windscreen washer jets into the panel. So literally you just got to put it on top and it should, there you go, just clips in. Super, super easy. So now it's just literally trying to get the panel back together and so you've got to clip these clips back here have to go line up with the windscreen, lower piece of windscreen. So it is a bit of a tricky one, but hopefully it shouldn't be too, too bad. Um, I'll go ahead and get back when I've got it somewhat in there. Okay, so basically the, the tongue part of the panel had snapped on the old one because it's non-existent. And you can see on the new one, it has, still has all the clip ready to be clipped in and obviously this is all snapped and it's been stuck inside the actual where it's meant to group like clip into so we've just had to use some prying tools and dig it all out this is prime example 
So make sure that when you take it out, just try and be a bit more careful with it. It doesn't snap and stay stuck in there. But luckily the new one has still got all of it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. And then I'll go ahead and come back to you guys. Okay, so finally on. Uh, you just need to be a little bit of brute force on that clip and just try and wedge it inside the windscreen and uh, once it's said you can uh, go ahead and get the wipers on and then once they're on you're basically sorted but already it's looking a lot better uh, unfortunately it does look a bit patchy but obviously we'll see what it's like in the daylight and not just be one big spotlight on it okay so I've gone ahead I've got it back on uh, it's all clipped in, which is absolute nightmare. I'm never going to take these things out again because getting them clipped inside the windscreen is absolutely nightmare. And you can still see, maybe if you guys can see, it's still not completely in over there. It's just an absolute nightmare. You just completely just force it down uh, and then you're just scared about breaking the windscreen or anything like that. Got the wipers back on. It looks a lot better to original. Um, <laughs> just like these look faded now and the rest doesn't but uh oh well at least it's um half it's done now anyway um i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe um tomorrow uh i've got my new rear lights so they're gonna be in a post i'm gonna collect them tomorrow morning i'm gonna have do a video on them as well just in case you guys have the same situation where you have the pre facelift lights that aren't as good as the um the nicer ones let's say and i'll go ahead and do a video of that tomorrow yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one